Let's move on to somebody that we actually just mentioned, which is Eminem. He revealed a near fatal drug overdose, almost stripping him of rapping of his rapping skills. Addressing the diss track to Rihanna, which I had no idea of until now, the Loose Yourself spitter says he was just rapping whatever rhymed because the song was recorded during the time he was relearning how to rhyme. Eminem said, uh, maybe be, Eminem may be one of the best rappers alive today, of course, but the near fatal drug overdose almost stripped him of his ability. The Grammy Award winning artist admitted that he had to relearn some of, the, um, some of those skills in 2007. 2007 incident that almost mm -hmm. took his life, which was a drug and um, whatever. The same shady briefly touched on his drug issues um, and its aftermath when addressing his diss track, things get worse, aimed at Rihanna. When it first happened, I was like, first, I didn't even know how and somebody got that. So basically saying he had no idea. The 48-year-old star claimed he had no recollection of the lyrics and figured he was just rapping whatever rhyme because the song was recorded during that time. Second of all, and I quote, I have no or zero recollection of even remembering doing that. The verse, like the rhyme schemes, didn't even sound familiar to me. So I was caught off guard too, which hmm. is very interesting. I'm going on social media and into his space and all of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are, don't really believe this story from, from what I'm seeing on social media. Mm -hmm. That is an excuse as to why he dissed um, Rihanna yeah, because no. it was on very, a very baseless um, reason. I guess maybe he was being immature or whatever. But it could be that, I mean, I think this both um theories mm -hmm. could be real like True. it re could really be that he's lying and he's making this up just to make himself feel better or he truly was in a bad space and was acting out of character like if you if you for you to say that your sound was unfamiliar to you you must mm -hmm. really be disconnected to yourself mm -hmm. at that point that okay. yeah the real eminem wouldn't have done that and maybe all that he was going through mm -hmm. and his drug whatever is what made him to write what he wrote but either ways i listened to the song and it really went hard on dissing Rihanna, so sure. I don't know. I don't know what well, one thing that, that um, I, um, stood out for me was um, his apology, saying that, look, it's not an excuse for whatever I did. Mm -hmm. I, um, I shouldn't have said that. I should mm. have said that. You know, his apology, because when it went on and on in my mind, so I was like, you like bro, what, yeah. are you, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, there are a lot of people that have been on drugs. Yeah, it, it makes you think out uh, it makes you think wild it makes mm. you do the dumbest stuff it makes you but is that enough excuse for saying this is the reason why i acted out so i think mm. it's no way to draw the line and know that yeah i was mm. tripping at that moment but is it enough for you were you high or true when the song got released mm. as well and like, when you're promoting you it and producing yeah, it and it's and never like, like yeah. it so um um the, the theory on social media is totally acceptable that the, <laughs> and especially when we've seen you do the same to people like britney spears yeah. madonna mm. um my recovery you know mm. you've dissed a whole lot of people in this thing is your thing <laughs> yeah, yeah like so what you asked that thing so uh -huh. Yeah, the fact that you're in a good place with Rihanna now and you're trying to work things out, it's okay, but we, get, we, we, get, can't, yeah. we can't blame it mm. on the drug, uh, 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 It's not just possible. Mm -mm. <laughs> and your take? Uh, there's people like you should have talked about a better lie. If, if it was, oh, you think it's a lie? So, yes, I don't believe it. Wow, wow, wow. If I is ready to attack me right now. No, <laughs> no, no. no, no. I know you are an uh, Eminem uh, stan. Really? But, How am I? You actually said that to me once, that you were. I did? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Are you, you're not? You don't like him uh, That's why I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, you said it to me. <laughs> I did? Yes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I wish we had a video so we just play back. Anyway. Uh, we need a playback yes. category because people used to lie on this table a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I love him, man. Um, yes, you did. Maybe 10 years ago. I could have said that to you 10 years ago. Not when now. did we meet? We met the same. Oh, Any we could have met 10 years ago still. That would have been a pedal. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if the day you don't do you don't throw your no age, age at the mix and that day we will buy you rice. How about that? Mm -hmm. And you will buy you rice. rice. Uh, you bag mean your phone? Why are you telling this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it bag of rice? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Five hundred. Uh -uh. <laughs> Only me, please five hundred. Evil man. Please go ahead. <laughs> <He's laughs> <still having sex. laughs> Please go take it, take it, take it. Anyway, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I just feel like you should have come up with a better lie. Because, okay, um, when you're on drugs, make you behave irrationally mm. and do things. But is it not, it's not, I don't think it's to sustain you to the point that you create a diss track against Rihanna. You produce it and you promote the song. Like, mm. nah, it's just ridiculous. I just felt, if you wanted to lie, make it believable. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never really gone to, I've never gone to a place where 
I'm having drug issues and I'm almost being whatever. So I don't know. I guess that place is really dark. And like if I mentioned, this is me playing devil's advocate here. Not that I'm saying I don't think it's a lie as well. I'm just trying to balance out the conversation. Mm -hmm. But based on what even what if I said that, you know, you could... Um, you could have been in a dark place for a long time, right? Mm. And maybe, and he also mentioned that your your the way you think gets wild. Mm. So that maybe he wasn't, maybe during that whole period where it was it was produced and it was, all of that, he was confident with his mistake, okay. if that makes sense. Which is why I feel like you should have said it a bit better. Not that you were not aware or that it sounded so fami unfamiliar. I don't know, when did I do that? But maybe you just didn't think about it with, with a clear head. I feel like he knew what he was, he was doing. doing. He just wasn't thinking straight, but... Anyway, let's move on from from Mr. Mr. Eminem. Eminem.